Hi, I'm Quincy, and today I am playing Citalis. Citalis is a very simple, casual city builder game, um, and it's also quite cheap. I heard some good things about it, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a try. I'm just getting set up. Okay. So the basic idea of the game is you're given a loan of $10 million and you have to pay it back. You can see down here in the bottom left. I have to pay it at, currently at the rate of $50, $62 a day and I'm making a profit of $10 a day. So that's not uh, hugely great. And at the moment I make that money by clicking on here over and over again very quickly. Um, that's the way you sort of drain the money and, and earn it. And uh, in building the businesses which generate the money, you also have to keep the various other factors in balance. You have to have population to, to, to handle. It. So you have these different sort of city plates. So this is my population. Each one of these buildings is 500 people. Uh, and then you also have to you also have to uh, make sure there's enough water and enough beauty for the people who are living in your town. So the water is a matter of building reservoirs, and they're a sort of strange mechanic. I'll show you in a second what works with them. And then the beauty is uh, things like these trees and, and fountains. Uh, at the beginning, it's mainly just a lot of clicking. Let's build another business. Don't care what it's called. Um, yeah, and that's that's the basic idea. That's the basic idea. Build businesses to earn more money, to pay back the loan, make sure the amount you earn is greater than the amount you have to pay, and you often then make sure that the water and the beauty and the population are all in balance. That you have a population enough to to uh, to handle. The, uh, the businesses and that you have enough uh, water to handle all the people in businesses and you have enough beauty to make sure the people uh, are happy and then at the beginning you have to if you see so if any of those things are not the case so if there's any there's not enough water or there's not enough beauty in your city then the happiness drops and if the happiness drops the crimes goes up and if the crime gets too high then your businesses start shutting down you'll see the crime the crime counter starts going up here uh, hasn't normally been a problem for me as long as you keep clicking at a, at a pretty good uh, pretty good rate you're generally going to be fine and set up another business now you click at the beginning and once you get to a certain point you sort of get on top of it and uh, it's all it's all fine after that so let's show you the water because I might need one soon oh I don't have enough money to build water I should have enough money. So, oh, so beauty's going down, need to build more beauty. You can see there, crime is going up, so I need to get move quick and start building beauty. So yep, beauty's gone back to 100, I'll just build a couple of extras. There we go. So beauty's back to 100, so the crime will have stopped rising, and then you click it to make it go down, and then of course click to get the money out of the business. And so on. And that's how it works at the beginning. And as I said, later on, you, there are the, there's various upgrades. You can upgrade businesses. Uh, they're the only things you can upgrade. Uh, you can upgrade businesses so you, they earn more money, or you don't have to click them. They pay out automatically, or they have less crime. And that's that's how it works. So we'll build another water. I'll show you the water. Once, if, if there's not enough water, you have to build reservoirs. So you build them, and they fill up. If you let this fill up too far, then it'll splash all over the place so you have to hit L when it reaches a certain level and then that's where it stays it's a very strange game mechanic it just seems the only purpose it seems to serve is to distract the player from doing other things like clicking while it's filling up because you wanted to get it to around 90% lock it done and then you're done and then you can go back to the clicking until you get bored of clicking you go to upgrades and you can use, use credit card which costs 1500 and you don't have to click anymore, but I'll wait till I've got a decent bit of headroom. Go back to clicking. Click, 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 click. 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 Now, now an upgrade. Yeah, so now I do not have to click this one anymore. Now that one will do, uh, will click for me automatically, drain the money into my bank account automatically. Which is a huge uh, gameplay improvement and, yeah. Unless you're, unless you're the sort of person who likes clicking. I guess that's the idea of the game is to 
put some sort of stress on the player at the start as there's a lot to do. Um, although I played an earlier game and you very soon build up such a huge engine that there's no real there's no real impetus to to to, to, to worry. You can it's all uh, you got so much money you can uh, just build lots of reservoirs and lots of um, beautiful things and lots of businesses in advance of building the businesses. So it is quite it is quite a uh, quite a simple game. Okay, so I think I'm safe now to do another one. Upgrades. Use the credit card. <laughs> Yes, and it, there, there's there's some sort of gating of uh, of content. Like if, when you build beauty, beautiful items, you can see there's this is the sort of level. Uh, I can't get to the last one because it's locked until I get to level six. But you can see I've been playing about five minutes, and I'm already up to level four, so it's not going to take me too long. Once I've got the last bit of credit card stuff, why don't we actually can we upgrade? Yeah, we'll upgrade this one. Okay, I've upgraded, so I need to check water, beauty, you're both fine. Means the money starts coming in a bit quicker. So these these sort of city plates you can expand, you can build new ones. They cost a bit of money to do, so I'm not going to do that straight away. But uh, when I can, I will build up a new. build up a new floor plate, a new city plate, and probably the first thing I'll have to do with that is uh, start putting lots and lots and lots of fountains on it to keep people happy. It does, uh, yeah, it does seem to end up not particularly, like you end up with these plates just full of reservoirs or full of houses. It's not exactly like uh, hugely pretty, I mean, imagine this with everything built up. I mean, so if we put in another one, you can, and you can change how it is if you want to change how it looks. There's not a huge. There's not a huge amount of uh, differentiation. Crime. This is what have happened. Beauty. Not not beauty. Build beauty. Build beauty. Oh, I can't build that one. What's the next best one? This one, whatever that is supposed to be. Build. Build. Build, okay, back to 100%, so back to clicking for now. Click to make the crime go away. Okay, and I can put this one on my on the credit card. And actually I can put this one on too, so I don't need to worry about it from the very start. There, good. So, and then you can see you're off. That's it. <laughs> Just keep doing that. Keeping uh, your profit above your above the amount to pay. And you'll stay in the black, and you can keep heading towards paying off uh, your loan. It's really, uh, it's really very simple. So, what is, what else is there to know about this game? Um, it does seem to lack a certain amount of uh, of polish. Oh, I've, um, I mean, I've seen spelling mistakes, like uh, the GUI, it's not very pretty. Um, I've had bits of the GUI get stuck, and so you can't uh, you can't remove them. So you can't see some of the city squares. You can get city squares hiding other ones. You can imagine later on as you get buildings get taller, and you have big tall buildings here, you can't really see these, and you can't spin around. You can't spin around to see what's going on. It's just merely a matter of building sort of your your city-based engine, and then just keep going and going and going. Um, Sometimes unclear when, which what you're clicking on when you're clicking on things, uh, especially when there's tons of big buildings. Uh, this, these news can go up here and start obscuring the sort of little top bar at the left, showing you your level in the day. Yeah, it just seems to, to lack a certain amount of polish. Um, did I mention the spelling mistakes? I, I saw at least one spelling mistake, and it's just a sort of very very simple idea. Um, done, I imagine done quite quickly, and then um, and then that's it. I don't know if there's gonna be a great deal of long longevity. I think I'll probably go through and pay off the 10 million once to see if anything happens, and then after that, uh, leave it. Really, if things 
Yep, it can still happen, so it's build another. And that'll, uh, that'll be it. I don't know if there's enough here to maintain my attention. Oh, low housing, so uh, my population is at 500. So I need to buy, build another house. Build a couple. So that means, is my water and my beauty going to start dropping? Water and beauty, you're going to start dropping? No, I've um, prepared enough in advance. Oh, you can, now, I'm, now you can see I'm level 6. I can start building fountains. Now, that, fountains keep people really happy. Oh. Is this locked? Oh, it's now, sorry, locked level 7. Oh, and beauty's down. I need to start, need to start beautifying. There we go, back to 100%. Yeah, but that's it. You know, you build, you check to make sure everything's okay, you build, you check to make sure everything's okay, or when you get later and you've got a lot of money, you make, you build all the supporting stuff, then you build the businesses, and then go on and on and on and on and on. And that's, that's how it works, basically. And then you, you occasionally you go through and uh, click to get rid of crime and, and that sort of thing. You very quickly use that uh, credit card. It's not much... Uh, not much fun to to have to uh, have to constantly click these things, or at least it's not to me anyway. So I might uh, stop this video here or very soon, and then jump to just keep playing and jump to the point where I where I've paid everything off, or, I'm, or where I'm about to pay everything off. Or maybe I should build something else I, I know I'm going to need. I know I'm going to need a new floor plate, so why don't I just quickly do that. Price, one million. I don't have a million. Okay, I'm not going to. My next one, if, if I did build one, it would be called Fountainland. Fountainland, because it's going to be full of fountains. But at the moment, I do not have enough money, so I cannot build that floor plate. That's that city plate. Yeah, so... Overall, I mean, if you like sort of clicking and building big engines with not much more to it, then this this is what you're going to have. It's very cheap. I think it cost me like uh, 60p. So I can't, you know, I, I don't feel bad about having pay, having paid for it. But at the same time, I'm actually no. I think I got it in a yeah. I did. I got it in a bundle, so I didn't even pay that. I paid. Um, I don't think I even paid 60p for it, thanks to the the, uh, the one that is bundling. Um, yeah, so it's it's fine. Pick it up in a bundle, but at the same time, uh, it's I've gotten so far about 20 minutes. I'm going to play till I get to 10 million, and then I don't really see myself playing it ever ever again. It's not really very not very compelling. Is there anything else to say about it? Uh, not particularly compelling, lacks polish. Uh, maybe, maybe with some future work, you could build up some a bit more to it. Because at the moment, it's just it's it's just too simple for me. Maybe you know, maybe as a sort of kids' game to teach them some basic balance and stuff. Maybe that's a possibility. I don't have kids, so I'm not going to. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm talking quite possibly talking nonsense there. But anyway, yep, that's it. And um, yeah, so now I'll uh, I'll skip forward to the to the end and see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so here I am, about an hour later. See the things have uh, gone quite well. I've now got uh, five million in the bank. I'm making about 120 thousand per day. I've got a bunch of places. Fountainland is now really Fountainland. A bunch of Fountainlands. Um, and I'm um, in a position now to start looking at paying off that loan. So let's see what happens when you reach the point of paying off the loan. And by the way, this took about an hour, just basically building up the engine, making sure that all the all the various uh, water and beauty were in balance, um, and then just leaving it and coming back. And after about probably a bit over. Yeah, probably a bit over a total hour, an hour total of gameplay, I'm in this position. Uh, I tried paying off the loan a bit once before, you can see I'm up to 4 point, I paid off 4.6 million, and so there's, what, about 
four, five point three million left, and I've got more than that. So let's go five, uh, three, zero, 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 zero. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now I've got twenty-one thousand uh, left to pay. So let's pay that. And there you go. Uh, oh, you yeah. basically so you win by, and you get a time associated with it. it took me 75 days of, of game time. Um, yeah, and that's it. Done. Don't really feel the need to play again. Um, so that's that. Bye.